Yeah, hey, it's Martin here from Design For You. And in this short tutorial, we're gonna actually show you how you can integrate a Shopify e-commerce site into your WordPress blog or website. So as you can see, we are on a, a website here. It's the WordPress website, all about knee pain. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna integrate um, a couple of places in a couple of places on the site a product that is associated with this which is all going through Shopify so then people can buy direct off of your WordPress blog or website so let's head over to our dashboard so this is the dashboard here this is the back end of the WordPress site so there's a couple of places we're gonna to head to we're gonna to head to appearance and we're gonna to head to posts but first we need to go and check out our Shopify site so this is our Shopify site, as you can see, it's totally well, new enough new. We've had a few visitors to it, um, but uh, that's all. So we're just about setting this up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually use a thing here down on the left-hand side, it says buy button. So we're gonna integrate a buy button into our WordPress website. So we click on buy button, select a product. We've only got the one in there at the moment, so that's the one we obviously want. Now this takes us to this page here. We've got three options here. We can have it with a general layout. Uh, we can have it just as a button. So if you've got images already on your site, you could just integrate the button. Or we can have it as a small template. And that template we can have in various different sizes. Okay, so medium and large. We can center it. Uh, we can change on, um, we can have it as an add to the cart. So you've got a shopping cart, obviously, or you can go direct to the checkout, or you can have it as show product details. So you can have it so it says view product, okay? So we are going to have it as um, add to cart. And down here, we're gonna, we've got the button style and text, so we can change the background color of the button. So we're gonna do that just to match our site. And there's a little bit broad across. So that matches the site a little bit better. Than what we had before if you want to be um, and get it exact obviously you can go to a, a color matching site and get the exact color but i'm only quickly showing you this so that is will do for us on this particular video so now all we need to do is uh let's just go back from the button we need to go to small the transfer it to small and we want to generate code so that now gives us an embed code, so we can copy that to our board. And if we go over to our dashboard, into appearance, into widgets. Okay, so we want the right sidebar. So we open that out and then we want to scroll down because we want to find the text widget on the side here. So we want to add another text. So just click on it and drag it up. And we want it in the right box, below that first text box. And as you can see, it opens it up and we can name it offers there you go and we can then paste our code in here and click on save okay so let's head over to our site see if that's made any changes we'll just refresh the page now there's no um sidebar on this front page so we need to go to the recovery room which is uh, what their blog is called and as you can see down here, if we scroll down, we now have our offer sitting in our widget area in the side there. So that's the first place where you can actually put on it. And then if we click on add to cart, it will then add it to the cart. And then if we go to checkout, we'll go to a checkout and you can pay via PayPal and log in, etc. and give a shipping address if need be. Okay, so it all works fine. So there we go, that is the first one in. What we're now gonna do is just show you how you can actually add it as a post in your actual page. So let's head back over to our Shopify site. And now we want the large template. So as you can see, we've got a big image there and we've got lots of information about the product down the left hand side. Okay, again, we could center this if we wanted to, but it only centers the actual text not the whole thing so we want to keep it down to the left just makes it look pretty neat again we've got add to cart so we want to add to cart there 
we've kept all the, the buttons the same color so all we now need to do here is generate a code okay we've got the code there let's back head back over to our dashboard now having saved this so we can close that down in the widgets we now need to head for our posts now just to save a bit of time I've already added a new post here eBrace support we'll edit that as you can see there's actually nothing on this post at the moment so we want to click in the text box there not the visual we want to go text and then we'll copy in our code again so we want to add it to the recovery room which is fine and we want to update okay so that's updated so we want to go back over to the recovery room we can then just refresh the page we've got the support here let's have a look see what we've got on that page and as you can see it's now been added into our site as a post and you could also add this as a page as well so you could have it as a page which would probably work may work better depending on your site so there we are there's two ways that you can integrate your Shopify into your WordPress blog yeah hey it's Martin here again I hope you enjoyed that video if you did then I want you to do two things right now number one subscribe to this channel that way you can get even more videos as and when I release them number two please like share and comment with any questions below this video I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care.